And so the question is, can she survive the Swing of Terror? Oh, no! Not the Swing of Terror! Henry, prepare to meet thy doom! <laughs> and the answer is... No one can survive the Swing of Terror! <laughs> I said... Yes, yes, I heard what you said. Now move, smelly nappy baby. I want to see what happens on the Swing of Terror. Never mind the Swing of Terror. Soon you'll have more than that to worry about. Now listen, Worm, I've got no idea what you're talking about and I really, really want to watch the Swing of Terror. Now could you please just move out of the way? please a please Oh, you are so horrid. This, this is what I'm talking about. <gasps> oh, I did that. I tried to catch it. Really, I did. I know, but I made it fall off because I was getting so cross and now it's smashed to smithereens. Come on, Worm. It's not the end of the world. Oh, but it is. Mum will be so cross with me, she'll never speak to me again. She'll banish me from the house, never to darken her door again. No, she won't. Oh, she will. She will. No, she won't, because I'll tell her I broke it. <laughs> Get... Get... Do that for me? Yeah, of course. You really do that for me? Look at it this way, Worm. Who am I going to call Smelly Nappy Baby if you're not around? Thank you, Henry. Now, what was it you wanted to talk to me about, Peter? Something about preparing to meet my doom? Oh, it's nothing, really. Hmm, OK. Well, we'll tell Mum about the vase in a minute. First, let's see what's happening with the Swing of Terror! Face it, it's got to be less scary than Mum's going to be when she finds out about the vase. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, smelly nappy baby! Peter, let's watch it after tea. Thanks, Worm. Henry? Now, let's all go into the drawing room. The silver's not quite polished yet. <laughs> no way. I'm off to find a TV. Oh, no TV in there. No, Henry. Come downstairs now. Oh, a personal stereo. I've already got five of those. <laughs> oh, a two-way radio. Whoever would I want to talk to? I think I'll open your present next, Mummy. It's the very biggest one. Hello. Brian, it's Henry. I need your help. Hmm, no problem, Henry. Now, first, you need to open up the back. I'm in. Now, you have to take the blue wire. Henry? Henry! Where are you? Oh, I've got to hurry. Mum's coming. Henry! Uh, done it. OK, 
Okay, Henry. Now put the battery back in and you should have a signal. And it looks like active athletic are making a substitution. Oh, cool. Thanks, Brian. Oh, sorry, Mum. I got lost. Yes. Well, everyone is waiting for you in the dining room. Okay. How nice for us all to be together at last. Hmm, with no distractions. And it's a through ball to McAnally. Is it beat one defender? Look what I've got, my little chickadee! And he's beaten another defender! stuff has got to stop. Oh, look what you've done! It was Henry's fault! He made me climb the tree! Henry is fast asleep in bed, which is where you should be, Peter. I am so disappointed in you, Peter. <laughs> is that my best shirt? want to wait another minute to see the lovely photo Peter took of the fairies. Look! No! Now you get some sleep, Henry. I'm sure Margaret will love this photo. No! Miss Battleaxe too. In fact, I think I'll email it to everyone we know. Who would have thought we had a fairy right here in our house? about that. <laughs> He's not called Rude Ralph for nothing. The one is over here. Oh, look at all those worms. Yes, the common Articus Wormicus, not the worm we're looking for. What worm are we looking for then? We're looking for the Extracus Specialis Wormicus. Cool. Extracus Specialis about it. I don't know. 
Extrica specialis wormicus. Extremely rare and very valuable. Yeah, yeah, we know that already. Likes to eat the leaves of the Extrica specialis tree. Look! The Extrica specialis tree! With no leaves on it. With no leaves on it. You're right, Ralph! Mm, yep, sometimes I am. Hey, maybe I should be called right, Ralph. <laughs> come on, come on. We've got to find out who's stolen the Wormicus Sunicus. Otherwise, the Scoop Tutor's reputation will be ruined us. I wonder. No time to wonder, Peter. Al, do you think you can jump all the way up there? Well, they don't call him aerobic owl for nothing. <laughs> 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 What am I looking for? A small white worm. You can spots on it. Yes. I can see it. Is it asleep? Yes. You found it. No, you found it. No, we found it. Remember the Scoot Tutor's motto? All in, all out. That's what we've got to shout about. And so our very important news story ends happily. Thanks to the Scoot Tutors, it seems that the really rare and very valuable worm wasn't stolen after all. It was only hibernating after a very large lunch. Yay! Yeah! Woohoo! Ah! Ah! Job well done! Henry? Yes, Bob? Henry? Cleaned the living room floor. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Never fear, school tutors were here. Um, yes. Well, I think you've earned a reward for all that hard work. How about a chocolate biscuit? <laughs> yes! Job well done! <laughs> There is one job needs doing. Yuck! You said you wanted to help. It's good for the roses. Ugh! Shoveling poo! This had better be worth it. There he is. Ha! Enemy ahoy! Go away, Margaret. Captain Margaret, to you! Prepare to do battle! Jump! A worm. Okay. What? I surrender. No! First you've got to fight so we can tie you up and make you walk the plank. Then you surrender. Not today. Oh, what's the point? Come on, Peter. Let's go and play mummies and daddies. Mm, come back. You've got to make him fight. <laughs> nice try, Peter. you do that? Because Henry won't be horrid to me! Peter, that is the silliest thing I have ever heard. Henry, I've changed my mind. You can come to the fair. Yes! Shall we go in the teacups or the hoopla? I can't decide. I think as Henry's been such a good boy today, he should choose. OK, I'll choose. Oh, thanks for letting me sit in the front seat, Henry. This, um, <clears throat> isn't a scary ride, is it, Henry? No. At least I don't think so. <laughs>
tango. You might like to try page 364, sir. There's a really good article on how to teach a goldfish to dance. What did you say your band's name was? The Zeros and Bees and the Zombats. Didn't realise there were more of you. There are But... Pleased to meet you, sir. My name is Margaret Millicent Morgan Smythe, and my dad's just bought this department store. Oh, uh, right. And what do you play? Lead air guitar. You told me you played lead air guitar. He does. We're a double act. The best double act in Ashton. Show me what you can do. You heard the man. It's showtime, Henry. Did your dad really just buy the department store? No, but he was seriously thinking about it. Round. I do so appreciate it. 
After my darling little Vera. Oh, he's so good with little babies, is our helpful Henry. Ah! I'll get you, Henry! Oh, Henry! Ah, 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 ah. Are you laughing at Worm? Am I, Peter? A smelly nappy baby! Ha <laughs> 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 